Coach, my goal is to get you as fired up as humanly possible before you break down these Seattle Seahawks plays. When you think about the crowd at Ford Field for the home opener, what comes to mind first? Uh, look, I, I just think, I know what we, what we just faced and what we went into at Arrowhead, which I think is a very loud environment, and I just believe it's going to be a lot more electric and, and it will have a lot more um, just energy in the air, man. I really do. So I think we're going to feed off of that. I think it's going to be hard for those guys to function offensively when they come in here. And, uh, man, we're, our guys are looking forward to it. One of the offensive weapons you have to look for with the Seattle Seahawks team is running back Kenneth Walker the third. He had 1,000 rushing yards his rookie year last year. And in this play, you're going to see quarterback Geno Smith hand on the ball. It's like we know what they're going to do, but he can still break free. Why is he so hard to contain? He really came to life uh, towards the end of last year for them. So he's dangerous. You know, he is a load. He's got speed. He's got vision. Uh, and he's got body control and balance, which that's when you start talking about these runners. If you've got all those, you're very dangerous. So uh, really, they do a pretty good job here. The Rams do defensively, but this is the second gear that he's got. And then his ability to set this up, stick, stiff arm, you know, and you all of a sudden you got an explosive run out of this. So this guy can be dangerous, and we feel like they're going to feed him the ball this week against us. Another weapon in this offense you have to look out for is the fifth-year vet wide receiver DK Metcalf. Seahawks only had 112 receiving yards last week. Metcalf had 47 of them. Coach, why is he always a weapon that this offense can go to? Yeah, well, because of things like this, you know, this is, ends up being an unscheduled throw. Rowdy stays alive, uh, which Gino gives them that ability to just keep scrambling, keep moving for me. Um, and so, you know, look, man, this guy runs slants, he runs goes, and now all of a sudden you get the, the ones where he's out of the pocket and we got to make something happen. He's just, this guy's dangerous. Uh, you know, he's got size, he's got length, he's got speed. Um, he, he's hard to bring down, you know, he's hard to tackle. Um, and so there's, the closer you get to the red zone, the more dangerous he becomes too. And he's already dangerous out in the field. So, you know, we know that's one of his favorite targets and we got to know where he's at at all times. A staple in the Seahawks defense is linebacker Bobby Wagner. 19 tackles yeah. last week. Why is he a deal breaker for these Seahawks? Well, he's, you know, look, he's been a hell of a player for a long time. And, man, his kid diagnose, he's been this really phenomenal athlete. But what he's got between his ears, the key and diagnose has been pretty special. And I think that's what separates him. And so he still has that. He gets off the spot. He can see these things. And uh, we don't get this guy clean. He's going to make plays like this all day. You know, he, to me, is still their bell cow on defense. He's the one that we got to know exactly where he's at and he keeps everything calm and in order over there for those guys. Week one he proved you can knock off the defending Super Bowl champs. Week two Seahawks at home. What can this team prove? Look for us we, we, we're playing for a lot here you know we, we've lost to these guys twice uh, you know the last two years they got their win uh, that knocked us out of the playoffs last year so we got a bad taste in our mouth and uh, and we're expecting a real physical game. You know, they, they came off a loss. We know they're going to, Coach Carroll's going to have them ready to go center them. And we have to be ready for a dogfight, which we are more than prepared for.